Hello, Lucas here, back with another video. Now today I'm going to be doing a comparison video slash review of the Hulkbuster Smash Up set, which is this set, which is an Avengers Infinity War set, not an Avengers Endgame set. I'll also be comparing it to the War Machine Buster over here. So the first minifigure is Bruce Banner, and then if you didn't know, the minifigures are Bruce Banner, Falcon, an Outrider, and Proxima Midnight. And if you guys are looking, are like, what? Where's Iron Man? Well, for those who didn't see Infinity War, spoiler alert. Hulk uh, slash Bruce Banner drives this thing, which, yeah, I know, they did that in Endgame. Pretty sure a lot of you already saw that, but just in case if you didn't know. So, there's no Iron Man in the set or anything. He has a jacket, which this minifigure's design is the same from the Thor Ragnarok sets. So, I didn't review the Thor Ragnarok sets, but so, here's a face print, which is just a happy face print. And the other one has him turning into the Hulk, which if you didn't know, in Infinity War, he didn't turn into the Hulk. So here's the Falcon. So I took off the wings to get a better look of him. But for the Falcon, you can see it has a pretty cool design. It is updated from the Civil War sets, which that's the last set that included Falcon in. This is actually the piece that attaches to it. And how the wings actually attach is actually through this piece here at the back, this little back bling, it just goes right in here. Maybe I've been watching too much Fortnite. But it just goes in here and there is a neck part so you can put it through the neck. So let's take a look at those wings first. But you know, for the look of it, let's just take off the head. <sighs> put back on these wings, which there's nothing too much at the bottom. So you can just put plop the head back on. The head is pretty loose, so it is easy to take off so yeah you can see his wings have stickers here which is pretty different from how it was before with lego because before it's something like the tanker truck takedown or or the other set with crossbones i guess from the civil war sets they actually have falcon with molded wings these ones are brick built wings so they have stickers here stickers there and you give you have the ability to flap it which doesn't really make sense and if you turn it to the back there is the Red Wing drone, which I think they did that with the Civil War sets. And this is the Red Wing drone right here, so it doesn't really look a lot like Red Wing, and obviously is brick built, so it is going to be a bit big. And it is meant to come off on these two studs. So I did take it, I, I actually got this set when it came out, but I decided to just keep on playing with it, and then I decided to review it. And there are some engines at the bottom. And then if you didn't know, so let's take off this little wing part. Falcon's alternate face is a normal, regular Sam Wilson face, which you can see it right there because they never did that. They would always do Falcon with the goggles on and they would always have his wings brick built for some reason. I mean, they wouldn't have it brick built, my bad. They would always have it molded. I, I like it brick built. So this is definitely really, really nice Falcon. By the way, the hair piece is the fin hair. We have Proxima Midnight which the minifigure is a Black Order minifigure. They did do all four Black Order minifigures in the Avengers Infinity War sets. You can see some printing on the back as well as a back facial printing. The hair is pretty useful for an Avatar minifigure. And then when you take off the spear slash sword thingy, you can see more printing. It has a golden arm and that gold printing actually does continue to the back, which you already saw and it does kind of continue up to the front. So we have an Outrider, which you already saw this in all the other Infinity War sets and Endgame sets. But here is a quick look at him. So here is the build, which is this Hulk, but this is the Hulk Buster, the War Machine. The War Machine Buster does not come with it. Well, why won't this stupid thing focus? Come on. So the main difference is obviously the color scheme, which this one's or red and yellow slash gold. This one's a gray and silver. And another difference is that the Hulkbusters from before all used to be kind of like a buildable figure, specifically with the arms they use, um, like the buildable figure shoulder pads and the ball joints. This one doesn't use this for War Machine Buster. War Machine Buster only uses ball joints on this side. And it doesn't really act too much like a buildable figure, but it, and it also doesn't have a Technic feature, which this one is on a ball joint. These are on gears, if you didn't know. And then there is a feature on the back of this thing for you to put 
to like smash, but at the back, this one actually doesn't have that chunky feature. So another feature is that the hands, they, they're not on tires like this one because they're on tires, if you saw my review. And the way they go in is different. So this time they actually have openable at the front, which, and they don't open on the sides. So for this one, they open like that. But these things, they actually open on the side, which give, does give you space to put Bruce Banner if you want. And there are some stickers inside right there which is pretty nice, um, really nice addition to it. Well, this one actually has some extra space here at the back for a storage for the War Machine Buster. And for the overall look of it, looks more military-like for the War Machine Buster. For the Hulk Buster, it just looks more like it is from Iron Man. But then the, the, there is a similarity. They, do, they both have that arc reactor thing. But the difference is actually with that blast because you could see the blast on this one for the Hulkbuster actually has an arc reactor shape to it. This one's just a, so it's not, it's actually just like a circle, an inverted tile piece. Well, this one is actually just a, a flat tile. So yeah, that's actually the main difference between the set and the other difference from that the War Machine Buster has compared to the Hulk Buster is that they this one actually has a bunch of guns and such. While for the Hulk Buster, they don't have any of those gun features. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of the Hulk Buster set, and I hope you guys also like the comparison part of it. If you want to see more Marvel videos like this, leave me a comment down below. That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.